Hi, let's learn about circle. A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a given fixed point called the center. The distance from the center to any point of the circle is called the radius, and it is represented by the yellow line. Then twice the radius is called the diameter. The equation circle can be expressed or written in two forms. First is the general form. The general form is the equation where D, E, and F are constant. This is the form x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals to zero. So here's an example where we plot a number. x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 6y minus 13. So the three constants are negative 10, negative 6, and negative 13. The next form is the standard form. It center radius form. So this is where h and k are coordinates of the center, and r is the length of the radius. So this will be written in this form: x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. Here's an example: x minus five squared plus y minus three squared equals to forty-nine. So R H is 5 and R K is 3. So 5 and 3 are the center. And R radius is R, so that would be 49. But since it is squared, so our radius is only R, so the square root of 49 is 7. So R is 7. Guys, before I forget, please subscribe and share this video with your cousins and friends. And don't forget to hit the notification bell below. Here are some steps when changing the equation of each circle from general to standard form. So let's take this example, x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 6y minus 13 equals to 0. First, we group the terms with the same variable. Our first parentheses are all y, sorry, all x. The second one is all y's. Then now let's move the constant term to the right side. In our equation or in our example, we have only one constant term, which is negative 13. And since we transpose it to the right side, it will become 13. Now let's create a perfect square trinomial by completing the squares. So in the x parenthesis, we added 5 squared. And on the y part, we added 3 squared. So whatever you add to the left side, always add to the right side to keep the equation true. Now let's simplify both equations. So we will not touch the left side. Let's focus on the right side. Since all of them are the same, they're constant, we add them up. That's why we get 49. Now let's express this perfect square trinomial as square of binomials. So this is the square of binomials. We have x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to 49. As you can see, it is already in the standard form or center radius form. Now let's do standard form to general form. Here's our example. x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to 49. Here are the steps. So first, let's square the binomial and expand. So on the first parenthesis, we have x squared minus 10x plus 5 squared. On the other parenthesis, we have y squared minus 6y plus 3 squared. So now let's place all terms to the left side of the equation. On the right side, we have only 49. So when we transpose it to the left side, it will become negative 49. Then let's open all the squared constants. So 5 squared and 3 squared will be open. So 5 squared is 25 and 3 squared is 9. 
So now let's simplify the equation by combining all like terms. So all the like terms like 25, 9, and 49 will be combined. That's why we got negative 13. Now let's write the equation in general form. So you remember the general form that will be x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals to zero, where d, e, and f are constant. And this is our final answer. Let's do so given this equation in standard form. So let's take this example x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to 49. Here are the steps. So first, let's locate the center of the circle. Let's denote C for the center. So we know that H and K are the coordinates for the center. So here, H is 5 and K is 3. So our center is 5 and 3. So as you can see, See, here is the center located. Now let's determine the radius of the circle. So in the standard form, 49 here is r squared. So for us to find r, we have to find the square root of r squared. So 49, the square root is 7. That's why our radius is 7. So you can see here, this is the line. That is our radius. So when we plot in the Cartesian product plane, sorry, this is our circle. To graph a circle using the general form. So here's the example. x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 6y minus 13 equals to 0. So here are the steps. So first, let's write the equation in standard form. So we studied how to change general form to standard form. So now the standard form will be x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to 49. So now let's find again the center of the circle. So the center will be denoted with c. So our h is 5. And our k is 3. And h and k are the coordinates of the center. Now we have the coordinates which are 5 and 3. That's why we can now plot the center of the circle. So next, let's determine the radius. In the equation, 49 is squared. So to find the radius, which is r, let's find the square root. That's why we have 7 for our radius. And you can see in the figure, the red line is the radius. So that is the sketch of the circle. I hope you have learned something about circles. If you have questions, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time and stay safe.